Hi, this is Andrea Clary, an Applications Engineer for the Keithley Products, and I want to give a really quick walkthrough here, introduction on measuring the RDS on on a silicon carbide MOSFET. So in this demonstration, I'm going to be using two of our touchscreen uh, source meter models, um, a uh, 2450 to control the gate on the MOSFET, and then a high current 2461 between the drain and the source. Uh, and I will note that I am, because this is a high current uh, test, I am using the four wire connections between the source meter and the drain source. The gate current is typically quite low, and so I'm not as concerned about uh, correcting for lead wire losses uh, on that. So I'm just using the two wire. Um, and then, according to this note, I also have the, um, the force and the and the low the force high and the force low twisted together to minimize loop area and then likewise the two sense leads sense high sense low they are twisted together also to uh, minimize our loop area the part we're going to measure today it's a Cree um, silicon carbide MOSFET it's in a TO uh, 247 if we look at the data sheet, it says we want a VGS of 20 and we want a drain current of 10 amps. It gives us a typical value of 160 milliohms, not to exceed 196. Now, other graphs and uh, pieces of information on this data sheet tell us a couple things. One is that it is a, uh, a very um, temperature dependent uh, test. So down here you actually see we have we have from minus 55 to 25 and they pretty much overlay um, here at this 10 amp level but if we allow the device to get hot then it changes quite a bit. Um, to um, facilitate connections here I am using one of our it's a model 8011 it's a high current uh, test socket for TO247 those are the same boards that are used in our um, model 8010 high power uh, test fixture and there's a there's a snapshot of the actual setup press the trigger button it runs it runs if I shut off the gate voltage so I'm just turning the 24 um, 50 20 volts off and now I run the 10 amp pulse again and now look I got um, very different shape of curve, right? I was not able to achieve it. Let me turn the gate voltage back on and I'll run this 10 amp pulse again. And there it is. Um, I could switch over here to uh, Jupiter Labs real quick and I could tell it to run the test again. I could retrieve the data and then using some graphing tools I can plot the data and the red curve is there's the uh, the current there's the resulting voltage and from that we can uh, compute our ohms 140 milliohms